Bloomers World is a women's ministry for women of all ages that imparts, inspires, uplifts, motivates and challenges us to become women of excellence that our God has created us to be. Join C. Dalahi every Monday night from 8 p.m. to 8.45 p.m. UK time at PRZ 109.2 FM as we discuss how women of excellence in Bible times rose above their challenges to fulfill destiny and left legacies for others coming behind. Bible says these things happen to them as examples for us, and they were written for our instructions. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11 these women overcame their circumstances, they subdued their enemies and became more than conquerors. Join us every Monday night, 8 p.m. to 8.45 p.m. Be inspired and take the step to living an overcomer's life. Precious evening to all bloomers. Happy New 2019. A gracious evening to everyone. We thank God for the gift of life. We thank God for the privilege to cross over. You are listening to the Bloomers World at Pierre Alison Radio 109.2 FM with BC Talabi. Thank you for spending this first time of the year listening to Bloomers World. 2018 is gone and soon it will be forgotten whatever happened in 2018 do not close the book just open a new chapter better things await you in 2019 it's a year we need to be ready. It's a year we need to position ourselves to receive that delivery, the divine delivery. That is our theme of the year. Whatever happens, open a new chapter. Do not close the book. Let's bow our heads and welcome Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We exalt your holy name. We thank you for the opportunity and the privilege to come again, to open the year with you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and have your place. Holy Spirit, we pray for direction. Holy Spirit, we pray for your guidance. I pray in the name of Jesus. Where faith is shaking, Father, build our faith. As the mustard seed, we call on you, Lord God Almighty. Have your way in us. Have your way in our lives. Direct and guide us. Not only during this period, but forever. I thank you, Father, most gracious. For the grace and the privilege to be used as your vessel. To you alone be all the glory. Thank you, Father. You are listening to the Bloomers World at Prayer Zone Radio 109.2 FM with Bissi Talabi. This is a year, as I've said. Our year of divine delivery. Our year where God will be using unexpected people. Our year when we will be receiving special deliveries, divine deliveries. All pressing issues. All awaiting results. This year will be divinely resolved. And you will have answers delivered to you in the name of all names. This is a strange year, as I've said. Strange divine deliveries. Deliveries for what you have prayed for. 
deliveries for a time, a season where your givings, your sowing in the house of God, your whatever you have given, this is the year that it will pay for you. They will pay for your deliveries. And some will be paid for by the grace of God. The grace of God is the unmerited favor of God. We do not work for it. We do not deserve it. But God sees you that you deserve it. It's a strange year. Whatever means of delivery comes your way. Just make sure that you are ready to receive. Low position yourself for delivery. And it shall be so for you. One more time. A great evening to all listeners. It takes many good deeds to build a good reputation. And only one bad one, you lose it. Tonight, her first visit of this year is to a woman of excellence. She is a woman of reputation. Her reputation When, when somebody have a reputation, it means when they mention your name, you are known for that reputation, for what you are doing. That is what you are known for. That is reputation. That is what you do that people use to qualify you. Just like this woman. There's no way they will mention a name that is not what she does or what she did. They will put it to qualify her. Rahab. When you hear Rahab, what does what comes to your mind? The first word that comes to your mind, if you are a scholar of the Bible, is Rahab the harlot, Rahab the prostitute. But I'm here tonight to tell you, whatever name you have been called, whatever name you have been known for, there is nothing that the blood and the grace of God cannot wipe out if it's a bad reputation. This woman, a woman of excellence tonight, which I'm presenting to you, Rahab, the harlot. She was known as a harlot in Canaan. She was socially excluded. She was an outcast. But to God, she was a vessel for God to be used. Isn't that strange? Man casts out certain people, but God seizes them as vessels he can use. God doesn't look for perfection or perfect people. God looks for people to make perfect. To make, he, ma- he makes them perfect. A woman of, excel- a woman of excellence tonight, she's Rahab. Our scripture that we'll be using tonight is in Joshua, in the book of Joshua, chapter 2, and we'll be studying and discussing her. You can find her in chapter 2, from verses 1 to 21. I'll just start with a brief history about her. Rahab, she was a prostitute. 
There is no way we will speak about Rahab that we will not mention Joshua and the spies that went to Canaan to spy to to spy to spy out the land. When Moses was alive, Moses sent Joshua and some men to go and search out to go and search out the land Canaan. But only two of them came back to tell to tell Moses that the land is fruitful that they can live there. So Joshua had first hand information about the place. And Joshua took over from Moses, which is when we go into straight into Joshua, the book of Joshua chapter two verses one to twenty one. So Joshua now, when he was leading the Israelites, he took over from Moses. So Joshua sent men to go back there and view, spy out the land again to make a plan of how to go and capture the place. And the two men, as soon as they got into the, into the city, let's have a, few, a picture of where Rehab lives. Rahab, as I said, she was socially excluded. So she lives by the wall near the gate, the city, because she has been cast out. She was an outcast. Because she was a woman of reputation. She was a prostitute of the Red Light District. So she was living by just by the gate and with high walls. But where she is located she can see what is happening she had a view she can see what is happening around the place outside the wall outside the wall of jericho so rahab when the men you know rahab is known to be a harlot so when the men came they just went straight to rahab and rahab perceived that they're not really her normal customers. She discerned. The Lord will give you discerning spirit. So they went to Jericho to spy out the land. The two men and they went straight to Rahab's place. And as soon as they got in, the men told the king. It was told to the king that two men came to spy out the land. The men of Israel. Because the, the people around, they fear the Israelites. They have knowledge about their God, what their God can do. How he parted the Red Sea and the Egyptians were swallowed up in the river. So they were so fearful of them. Even their name, the name of the Israelites, were so, they were so scared, even, even the name itself. So the king sends people to go and ask Rahab for the men that came into her house. And because she has perceived that they are not just ordinary men, she hid them. She hid them at the top of, her, of, her, of the roof. And she told the men from the king that, that the men have gone. They should chase them. Wisdom. That they should chase the men so they can overtake them. So now as soon as they went, they left the city. Rahab hid the men, and later in the day, in the night, they had to leave. But Rahab made them to swear that when they come back to get the city of Jericho, that they will spare her and her family. She they made a covenant with her that they will spare her and her family on condition. That the family, our family and our household will stay in our house without going out. Without stepping out of the place. And when they were going, 
they use a red scarlet, a red scarf. So Rahab, they went through the window. They got down from the window with the red scarlet, red scarf. And that was a sign between them and Rahab. And Rahab took all her family into her household. And when the time came, when the Israelites came back, Rahab was watching them. She could see them from far off. First day, second day, third day, nothing was happening. And she was looking. But guess what? Her faith was not shaken. The Lord will solidify your faith in Jesus' name. Until the seventh day, when the trumpet sounded and they made that loud noise, and the wall that was supposed to be guarding the people of Jericho, until the wall fell down completely, and only Rahab and her family. And a household that were in the in a house, they were the only ones that were spared. That's a short narrative of our woman of excellence tonight. How she escaped. Rahab escaped. It wasn't her own doing. It was God's doing. Rahab escaped because she was divinely located. She was divinely delivered, even with her reputation. There is nobody God cannot use. That is why we have to be, we have to make sure that we are located. We have to make sure that we find our position this time, this year, to be divinely delivered for that special delivery. So the spices, the spies, they went to, Re, to Rahab's place. Rahab, what can we say about her? There's a lot we can say. Rahab broke the protocol. Because she was not fit, under no circumstances, my man's doing, could she have achieved what she achieved. From being spared, from destruction to being used by God. Not only did God change her name, not only did she got married, but there's no way you can mention David, the lineage of Jesus, that you will not mention Rahab. Rahab was mentioned in the book of Hebrews of the people of faith. She was referred to as well in James, in the book of James. There is no way we cannot mention Rahab. Let's look at Rahab's characteristics. What did she do that made her to stand out? She heard about the God of the Israelites, what he did. So there was this awareness around her. She was knowledgeable. She was current. She followed current affairs. Even though she was a woman of reputation, she knew what was going on from her customers. Sometimes we'll be walking. We don't know. We don't understand the, our office, what we do in the office, the staff protocol, the staff handbook, our organization. When was the last time you visited your company's website? To see what is written about them. Sometimes we're just walking. We're just doing what we want to do. We're just going for work to get paid. But we have to be aware. 
Rahab was aware of her occupation, of what she was doing, of her customers. She knows them. And Rahab had this. She had this protective skills. She might be a woman of reputation. She might be an hollow. She might be, she might be a prostitute. But she, protect, she protected her customers. If not, how could she have protected the spies that came to Jericho to spy on the land? She was confident. She was confident. She had the confidence to send back message to the king about the spies that were in her house. She was intelligent and she was smart. She had the confidence in God of the Israelites even though she doesn't know him then. She doesn't know God of the Israelites then. But she had confidence in him. And she believed that the God that can save the Israelites will save her and her household. Sometimes we just say things, but the confidence is not there. When you go for an interview, you can answer questions, but if you don't answer with confidence, It might have an effect on you or on the outcome of the interview. We have to have confidence, especially in this world we are right now. Confidence is needed. She had confidence. Rahab was organized. She was well organized because She was a businesswoman. She was a prostitute. As well, she was making cotton. She made cotton from flask, which she used to cover the Israelites, the spies that came to Jericho. She must have had her household organized in such a way that there is nothing that will give any clue of where anybody is. She works as a businesswoman and she works as a harlot. So she has accounts that she's keeping. Not only that, she was doing two jobs at the same time. Rahab was kind. Thoughtful and forgiven. She was kind because she had a family in the rescue plan. When she asked the spies that she, they should promise that they will rescue her when they come back to, to, to claim Jericho, She remembered her family. She remembered her household. Remember, she was she has been she she has been isolated from her family. She lives outside outside by the gate. So she she was excluded. But she did not use that against anybody. God knows what will have happened. Maybe when she started her prostitution, people were coming and her family had to say that uh, you cannot disgrace us. You have to move out. But she did not have that against them. She was forgiven. She was forgiven. 
and God counted everything against her as righteousness. God had her all her dates, all her prostitutions. They were counted for her as righteousness before God. What's what is in a name? What name are people calling you? What are you known for? Whatever you are known for, remember. If God can wipe away Rahab's past, God can do the same for you. He can do the same for me. There is one, um, one of these forwarded clips that passes around that says that you cannot be stopping each time people throw stone at you to be picking them up and throwing them back. It will not let you get to where you are going. So when people call you names that you are known for, or when people say something to you, you don't have to respond to everybody. It is not worth it. Because you will not get to where you are going. Rahab knew that she was called a harlot. Is in the Bible. She did not tell anybody not to call her harlot. That is what she was known for. A woman of reputation. You are listening to the Blue Mass World Prayer Realism Radio 109.2 FM with B.C. Talabi. Blue Mass World is a women's ministry for all ladies. We are here to inspire, to motivate, and to uplift. We are here to learn from the women of excellence in the Bible. Some made mistakes, which we learn for, and others, they left legacy, which are following. For each, either we use them as learning curves, or the legacies that we try to reach and be like them as we step into their footsteps. We follow them because they were women solid in their faith. And we, we look forward to be solid in our faith as well. Rahab represents shame. And she was discriminated against. But the mercy of God... The mercy of God spoke for her. She was a woman of excellence. How can you, when you talk about Rahab, that you won't remember David, that you won't remember her husband Salom, Salmon? She left a legacy for us to follow. She left legacy. Whatever name you have been known or called. Move on. Because the mercy of God will change it for good. We have a woman of woman of reputation tonight. But that did not stop God using her. God uses people that people reject. May we be a vessel for the master's use. The essence of a bloomer is to be an overcomer. And so shall it be. Rahab. She had. She had a plan. For 2019, you need to have a plan. You need to have your set goals. Rahab had plans. She planned how the men will come back to get her. Whatever you do, it's always good to have a plan. You must have a plan. You must be current with whatever you are doing. At your place of work. Spiritually. 
you must have a plan to get better. Because when that special divine delivery arrives for you, it's to take you to another level. It's for people to see that you have moved. It's for people to see that you have relocated. It must speak. It must show on you. You must have a plan. A smart plan for that matter. Must be specific. Rahab was specific in what she wants. She wants a rescued plan. She wants to be rescued. You must be specific. What else? You must learn to get better. Whatever you are doing, get better. Be excellent. Identify what needs to be, what you want, what you want to get better at. Identify it. And make sure that you can measure your achievements. It's measurable. It's attainable. It's relevant to you. Because it's you that know what you want. Rahab, all she wanted was just to get out. Get out from the slumber. Get out from the slum she was in. So it's you that will know what you want and make it relevant to you. You can give yourself a time, time, time bound, make it time bound. You can make it long term or short term goals. But whatever you do, have goals, have plans. Because when that special delivery, the divine delivery comes, it must show, it must speak. People must see that you are on, a, you are on another level. Rahab, God bless her. She received that divine package. Rahab was relocated. Her, that was a divine special delivery package. The spies came back to come and they got her out. The rescue plan she had with them worked. And Rahab married, even with her background. Even with her reputation, she married. Rahab was the great grandmother of our Lord Jesus Christ. Where are you positioning yourself? Rahab gave birth to Boaz. And Boaz married Ruth. You remember Ruth as well? How she married Boaz. And Boaz and Ruth gave birth to Obed. And Obed gave birth to Jesse. And Jesse gave birth to David the king. Would you agree with me? That that was special. Divine package. Divine delivery. Locate yourself. For that special divine delivery when it comes divine special 2019 will be your portion what's in a name they normally say a good name is better than a bad or than a, rep a good name is a good reputation rahab did not have that kind reputation the kind of reputation we're talking about but this year is going to be a strange year, as I've said. Some things will be happening, which will not be the act of man, but the act of God. Whatever you do, just make sure that you are fervent and on fire for God. Things will change 
for good. Be ready. There are some times you won't know why. You might find yourself with some people that you are not sure of what you are doing with them, but they might be your divine helpers. Divine helpers, they don't have, they don't look, they don't have special looks. They don't wear special outfits. But the Lord will give you discerning spirit. The Lord will give you discerning spirit. Rahab, she was isolated. She was excluded by men. But God included her in his plan. The scarlet, the scarf that was dropped through the window. It's a reminder that whatever past we have, God will wipe off every bad reputation that we have our past. Remember as well that Rahab, when she asked the men, asked the spies to when they come back to get her, she did not. It wasn't herself alone. She asked them to come and rescue. She remembered her family. She remembered her, her household. When that divine package arrives, remember to share. God blesses so we can share. Remember to share at your place of work. Even that team member that has offended you. Remember to share the goodness of Christ when that special delivery arrives. This period we will be seeing some associations. They might not be the type of people you want to associate with. But as you're going through the journey, through the journey of waiting for that special package that you have requested for, that you have bought, or that Grace is speaking on behalf for you, there are some people that will be tagging along with you. They might not be the type of people you want around you, but you don't know how God will use them. Rahab was a woman of reputation. Well, her reputation spoke for her. The reputation of Jesus Christ will speak for you in Jesus' mighty name. And as I close tonight, Rahab had to leave some things in Jericho. She did not carry some things with her. She only took her family, her household with her. There are some times in our lives that we have to leave some friends, some associations behind us for us to move to the next stage, for us to move to where our destiny lies. There are some times you need to leave some friends so you can find your own soulmate, so you can find your own bone of your bone and flesh of your flesh. There are some times that we have to say goodbye to some things in life. Remember Lot's wife? She looked back because she couldn't leave some things behind. I close tonight that the God that wiped out Rahab's past will wipe away your past. We wipe away the past that is Known as reputation, bad reputation. It's only God that can do that for us. And the blood of Jesus, the scarlet, which is still speaking for us, we continue to speak in our favor. In Jesus' mighty name, 
You are listening to the Blue Mass World at PRLA Zone Radio 109.2 FM with BC Talabi. Thank you for your time tonight. The plan, the delivery, it's on its way. Let your sh- let your faith not shake, because Rahab's faith was not shaken, even looking through the window. For six good days, she was unshaken. Why? Because she believed in the God of the Israelites. Who do you believe in? What's your confidence? In whom do you have your confidence? There's salvation. There's a call. Rahab answered the call, even though she wasn't an Israelite. And God did that well. God did not disappoint her. You will not be disappointed. Salvation will speak for you. The divine delivery, the special delivery, is on its way. Thank you for listening. God will make it possible for you to join me again. It's the Bloomer's World, her prayer rally is on Radio 109.2 FM with Bissi Talabi. You can listen again to Rahab. Woman of Reputation on SoundCloud.com Or you can as well listen to us, listen to me on YouTube. Search for BC Talabi or Bloomer's World. Till then, keep blooming. May we be used as vessels of honor for the Master's glory. Bloomers World is a women's ministry for women of all ages that imparts, inspires, uplifts, motivates and challenges us to become women of excellence that our God has created us to be. Join C. Dalahi every Monday night from 8 p.m. to 8.45 p.m. UK time at PRZ 109.2 FM as we discuss how women of excellence in Bible times rose above their challenges to fulfill destiny and left legacies for others coming behind. Bible says these things happened to them as examples for us, and they were written for our instructions. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11 These women overcame their circumstances, they subdued their enemies and became more than conquerors. Join us every Monday night, 8 p.m. to 8.45 p.m. Be inspired and take the step to living an overcomer's life.